Hey, what's up? It's Chanel. Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. Today, we are going to be listening to Unrest Grindcore on Dark Descent and Unspeakable Axe Records. This is killer shit featuring members from Crypt Sermon and Woe. I'm pretty sure Hive Lords as well. Not 100% positive, but this is some killer fucking grind. I really hope these guys put out some more material. This fucking rules. Check this out. Especially if you like grind. And if you like grind, you're gonna like what we're reviewing today. But it's more power violence than it is grind. And that is Man is the Bastard and Capitalist Casualties Split LP from 1994. An original pressing on Six Week Records. Fuck. Yeah, very, very excited to pick this up. You have 13 tracks from Capitalist Casualties of pure fucking hatred. Just brooding hatred of humanity right here. And same goes for the Man is the Bastard side. Like, there's some... The politics are very high on this record. If you are not in the, like, political... Like, obviously, just by looking at the album cover... It's cut and paste artwork. I mean, not everybody had Photoshop in 1994, especially a bunch of like, you know, punks playing fucking fast hardcore that turned out to be power violence. From, I think the term came from a member that wasn't Man is the Bastard, but anyways, you pretty much, this is a first pressing from 1994, which from what I looked into, was originally only um, 1,200 copies pressed until 2009 when it was repressed. 200 copies on gray and I forget what else was on black, but you could pick up another reissue I saw on um, Force Field Records for um, 11.95. So, uh... Yeah, I would go uh, pick that up because that's a deal and a half. I got this for an awesome deal. Like, it's one of the reasons I'm smiling because I was just looking through the seas because my local record store um, re-upped on some Cannibal Court stuff. So I was like, oh, I wonder if they have uh, a certain record I was looking for. And they actually did have it along with some King Diamond stuff and uh, the first Emperor fucking EP so uh, I have that stuff put away at the record store until I get paid so I got this um, look at that price $12 so yeah I got a little discount too so it was under $12 everything works fine it's just there was this little little dent in the cover I don't care because the music fucking plays. Uh, I don't plan on selling this. And also, they put the price tag on the fucking cover. Come on, Joe. You know better than that. You put it on here. Okay? I hate when that happens. It, it really is annoying. And I'm not even going to fuck with trying to take the sticker off. But let's get to the talking about this album. Um... I'm trying to figure out what side we should start with, so let's start with the man is the bastard side of this split. Alright, and this is the debut of Andy Bite or whatever from No Comment on vocals. Now there's a lot of power violence, obviously, but you could call that fast hardcore, you know, fast punk rock, whatever. So much stuff falls under the power violence, like you know, genre, that sometimes it's confusing, like, it really is. So, you might hear me refer to stuff as fast hardcore, when I'm calling something fast hardcore, I mean in my head power violence, but this is really just a killer, killer slab of power violence, and just sonic hatred of humanity in every way, shape, or form but mostly just sonically, and uh, you have a killer, killer fucking insert from both bands on both sides. Everything is, like I said, cut and paste, 
by Jeff Whiplash. And, uh, yeah, super fucking sick. Like, love them that hate you. Man is a Bastard Skull is the fucking best worship of Skull. But Primal Dominion, I guess, is the name of uh, their side of the split. Even though on the back it says, Are You? With question mark. I know they do this type of stuff a lot. But the way that the, the tracks and the lyrics line up is fucking super cool. Like, there's these little, like, symbols. And, uh, like, okay, so the Man is the Bastard side has, I think it's five tracks. Yeah, you have Foot Binding, Feed the Octopus, Eunuch Part 2 slash Reprise, Gourmet Pez, and Blinds. And uh, Foot Binding, it even tells you, it is the Chinese practice of wrapping the feet of young girls for beauty and control. Today, men have different means. And then there's a dollar sign. So, you follow the dollar sign up here, and there's the lyrics. Pretty fucking cool. Keep female property loyal to me, Chinese infamy, ancient male atrocity, custom crippling men control her, destiny feet wrapped up tight, contort the feet, deform the life, taught dependency, robbing she of liberty, still trying to do this today. And yeah, you get fucking shit like that. Feed the octopus is like instrumental. And then eunuch reprise, bloated bellies, bald heads, and no testosterone to power them. You follow the uh, star emoji, and they're back, we're dead, bloated bellies, balls, heads, eunuchs destroyed, they're worth dead minds, dicks hurt. They're back, we're dead, bloated bellies, balls hurt, eunuchs. But on the capitalist casualty side of things here, this is where something very interesting, I notice, comes into play. And that is, there's a little bit of nails, You Will Never Be One Of Us, in quite a few tracks on this split. And I don't know, I guess this was just a, an influence on Todd Jones, and uh, I really hope it was, because seriously, like when you read these lyrics and then read the lyrics to um, definitely the track Parasite, which is their anti-drug track on You Will Never Be One Of Us, and um, I forget what track it is, it's number two, uh, but pretty much like all their songs about like the scene and stuff, capitalist casualties dive into that stuff as well. I'm going to read you a track called Name Dropper and then a track called Vomit. So, they go back to back, so... I don't give a fuck what you think, your need for popularity makes you an idiot in my eyes. Who else do you know to prove your value? It's all crap. The drama of your scene leaves me wondering, who cares? Huh, sound kind of familiar? Not yet. Next track, Vomit. No more lies, burn the plastic flag of unity, wall of trash is all I see, ideals live in atrocity, I never needed you before, so why would I need you now, cut the ties that didn't exist, your moral standards are full of shit, fighting a war inside your head, the gain of others is your loss, in competition with the world, the mirror is your nightmare. You are not my friends, you were never my friends, you are not my means, you are not my way. Afraid to be yourself although you claim not to conform, into your bleeding wounds of jealousy is the salt of your self-doubt burning. Fuck you motherfuckers, two-faced motherfuckers. Yeah, that sounds very familiar and then like... Waste Life, it's about pretty much how the DA is a fucking liar. It's really, really pissed off. Like I said, brooding hatred of mankind. And I could see where Todd Jones and tons of other bands got their influence from this 1994, like, album. Well, Split, whatever you want to call it. This was obviously highly influential in the power violence scene. Like, in my opinion, nobody really fucks with spaz, and that's a cliche answer, I know. But, that's during the 90s. 
Nowadays, you have bands like Iron Lung and their noise project, Pig Heart Transplant, where Man is the Bastard disbanded in 1997, then forming Bastard Noise, which, again, put out, I don't even know how many fucking splits, compilations, seven inches, etc. And the same goes with Capitalist Casualties. There's so much fucking material, like, and that's why, uh, I forget the name of the, uh, it's a compilation, but it pretty much has, like, everything you need to hear from these guys, and I wish I would have wrote down the name of it, but, sorry. But yeah, the vocal violence is killer, like, so on the Man is the Bastard side, especially, like, uh, you have some very awesome experimentation on the vocals, like, you'll have parts that are just like normal like hardcore punk and then you'll have that like spaz power violence vocal you know the like I'm yelling like this and it's fucking awesome and yeah it rolls just like this unrest album I mean the quality and production is obviously a million times more advanced on unrest grindcore than on this but it still kind of comes from the same place like politically both bands kind of have the same like similar mindset when it comes to you know like i'll just read you the capitalist casualties track titles meat market jesus is whore murder media moron self-abuse worker Fuck the Christians, pin cushion, you explode, name dropper, vomit, stairs, waste of life. And then, like I said, on the man is the bastard side, foot binding, feed the octopus, eunuch part two, slash reprise, gourmet pez and blinds. <clears throat> Recorded in 1994. Love them that hate you. That's something you probably should live by, like legitimately, like. But, yeah, like, the more I look at it and stuff, and the lyrics, it's fucking awesome. Like, I love the 1-800-fuck-the-holy-mother on uh, Jesus is Whore. But, um, yeah, the amount of just pure hatred towards mankind is very, very prevalent on this split. Um, like I said, it's the first pressing on black whoever had this before me really never listened to this like seriously i mean it it had some dust on it and still does i need to clean it up a bit but um yeah i it just had this little little dent down here but i don't even give a fuck like the price i paid for it was a little bit cheaper than that i paid uh about 950 so I was fucking hyped. But if you like power violence, I can't recommend this enough. Um, if I had to choose a side that I, I like the most, I really, really... Fuck, man, that's a hard one to, to actually choose from, but I'm going to have to go with the capitalist casualty side just because you can just tell. It's so punk that like just the production alone it sounds like a rehearsal tape, but in a good way. Like, trust me, like, if you pick this up from Force Field Records, the reissue, it's only $11.95, so go grab that shit. But if you pick it up and listen to it, you'll hear exactly what I'm talking about. But you can go listen to this on YouTube. Um, I'm not sure where else you can listen to it unless you're going to buy it. But I can't recommend this split enough. Both bands are amazing. I suggest checking out material from both bands, and if you can find this, grab a copy. It's killer, it's quick, it gets to the point, and if you hate humanity, this is the soundtrack to, you know, get your day started, have a nice cup of coffee, and, you know, get your sonic fucking anger out before you go out into the world and murder somebody, so... Music like this is great for stuff like that. Just releasing anger, hatred, whatever. So, yeah.
Check out that collaboration. Well, not collaboration, split. Peace.